you clicked on this video because you wanted to watch me do some nails right so today as you can see by the title we are going to be doing some cow print nails and i am so excited so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and size my nails with the clear tips that i have now these tips i am actually not sure where they came from these nails they are already hard um but as you'll see when you keep watching the video i am going to put some acrylic on top of them just to give them more of a length these are long tips or these are long press on tips with however you want to call it i will also be cutting them very pretty short so with my sizes set out, I am now just going to put them onto, um, y'all, I have no idea what these are called, but I'm just going to be getting the, what are they? I don't know. They're the press on nail, the press on nail holders. Now these I got off of, I don't remember. They had them on Amazon though, but I'm going to go ahead and put them all onto the press on um, thingy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to size them and I'm going to go ahead and cut them down. And the nail file that I am using is going to be the straight edge nail file just because it'll help me more because I am going for a square look. Maybe it won't help me. Maybe we need the one where All right, so to actually start off, I am going to be using the curved ones because the straight ones don't want to go through the nail tip. I'm just going to clip them all off with the curved ones and then straighten them out with the straight one. Just once though. You do not want to cut too short, you, and then you're going to be mad at yourself. This is a thing that I go by when I'm clipping nails and doing nails and stuff. Always shape the nails longer than what you actually intend for them to be. It just gives you more room to work with. Then what I like to do is take it off and kind of size. What am I going for? What length am I going for? I know I'm going for short, and I actually have like a inspiration nail, so I'll be right back. So I just pulled out these inspiration nails just to kind of help me and guide me on what size I actually want these nails to be. Ooh, and that is perfect. When I cut my press on tips or my nails, my tips, whatever you want to call them, when I do trim them and cut them down, what I actually, I don't like to use this. I actually like to use just a regular nail cloud. Nail cloud, what is a nail cloud? Anyways, the other thing, I don't got the little magnet pieces thingy and I need to invest in those, but I don't know how to invest in those because if I did, I would. The only two fingers that need to not be the same size is literally just your thumb and your pinky because they're not the same size on your hand. But your other three in the middle, they're pretty similar so you can really have those looking the same. So all I'm using is these false tips that I got. These were actually really cool. I used them and I'm going to get into like testing different false tips. Let me know what y'all want though, because if y'all want like some false tips from Sheen or Amazon or any kind of review like that, let your girl know. I probably end up doing it anyways, but I know I got a lot of stuff to get rid of. So let me be creative first and then we can do reviews on different things. You know what I'm saying? All right, so here is what we're working with. And then all I'm gonna do is take a nail file and then file them into the square shape that I want. I'm also going to be fouling the base of the nails or the face of the nails, whatever you would like to call like the major part of the nails, just to help with the acrylic. You can also go in with a drill bit to do this. Um, what is it, an e-file to do this. But I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I don't really feel like trying to plug that up. Now that these are done, I'm gonna be doing the same exact thing to the other side or to the other five. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we got both of the sets complete. Hey, y'all, it's common shout out time. Here's the inspiration picture right here. Also, like the pink part is gonna be glitter. In honor of our inspiration or in honor of our cow print nail set, the question I'm gonna be asking you is when was the first cow discovered? Not even like the first cow, but like when were cows discovered? Like that's so random, but I feel like it goes perfectly with the nail set. Anyways, back to the video. So the acrylic stuff that I'm going to be using, I am going to be using Young Nail. We just have our clear and then we have our covered blush and then of course their monomer. 
and then the brush that i'm going to be using is actually going to be my what is this called they discontinued these brushes oh you can't forget the damping dish that is so important oh it's just an alpha brush it's going to be my alpha brush and this is the number eight i like small for when i'm doing smaller sets big for when i'm doing bigger sets and then i got me a little napkin over here to kind of get everything but anyways let's go ahead and get into the process so a tip that i actually learned to kind of mask the smell with the acrylic alcohol of course open a window but alcohol First set down, one more to go. Alright y'all, so I have officially filed, buffed, and prepared them for the next step, which is, drum roll please. Paint. <laughs> I got my paint brushes and I got my bottle caps here for me and I'm just gonna paint you guys. The white nail polish that I'm going to be using is going to be this Beatles gel polish and it is just the color A411. All right, y'all, it is officially time for the cow print. And then the same thing with the other one, I'm gonna be putting the paint on top of the water, the water bottle cap to help me. I'm so nervous, but we got this. The black paint that I'm gonna be using is from Nail Attic, and it's just called Black Attic. And then I'm also gonna be using my dotting tool. That is so pretty, what the heck? I did it. Well, if you don't take anything from this video, Believe in yourself because you got it, man. They are so cute, you guys. Look. All right, y'all. So I don't know if they just didn't dry all the way or what happened, what's going on, but 
I'm going to get an alcohol pad and I'm going to wipe all of them down. <sighs> I'm so scared to wipe this off. All right, I'm gonna try with this one. I wiped it off and it did bleed a little bit. Okay, that worked. So we just need to wipe them all off because they was, ble was bleeding. All right, so the top coat that I'm going to be using is actually gonna be the Sally Henson's Miracle Gel Top Coat. I know it really like dries. You probably don't have to put it under the lamp, but I'm gonna put it under the lamp anyways. So let's give it a try. First two. And here we have the nails, they are done. I know in the picture, like the cow prints are a little bit bigger. I didn't. I wanted more of like the polka dot style or like the smaller cow prints, not necessarily the bigger cow prints. I actually love the way that these turned out. Let me know if you like the way that they turned out or even if you didn't or what you think we could have added, like maybe jewels or something like that. But. I want it like little plain fresh tippies. I like them. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and to turn on the bell notification so you know when the video drops, when I put these on. Anyways, I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Bye.